Well, good day again. Alright, it's a quick update. It's a part three of Ash and Wash Ass. Say that again. Ass of Wash from my headers. And uh, yeah, as you can see, fire's going. It's yeah, it's getting on summer. It's about 25 degrees today, so it's yeah, it's rather warm in here in the shed. But anyway, this is uh, basically the best way I can think of to get them dry. Yeah, so I just got the fire going. I'll set them on there. I'll leave them on there. They're probably already dry, but I'll leave them on there for another. 10-15 minutes at least make sure they're good and hot and there's no moisture whatsoever left inside them anywhere yeah, the joint's a bit rough but yeah, I don't think I'm gonna I think it's just gonna stay that way I might buy a new set headers one day but yeah one day if I get a bit wealthier but probably not <laughs> yeah Anyway, yeah, I gave them a pressure wash, and uh, yeah, a lot of that sort of orangey stuff was just sort of clay, baked on clay dirt, and uh, yeah, that just blew off, but yeah, don't know how well the camera's picking up, the camera actually makes them look cleaner than what they are at the moment, but yeah, you can see, but well, these are only been out of the, what, press washed, uh, probably 20 minutes on the one at the back, and uh, 10 minutes on the one at the front since they were pressure washed and stuck on top of the fire and yeah within that time we've already got flash rust on them so yeah and the longer you leave it the more you're going to get so it's pretty essential to get them dry as quick as you can and uh, yeah so once they're dry the flash rust will slow down considerably so um, yeah, I'll get them off in another 10 minutes or so and I'll hang them up, let them cool down and uh, yeah, I'll go over them lightly with a wire brush or something. Just, yeah, you can see there's still a little, couple little bits of dirt stuck here and there. Yeah. So, most of it, but you can see these are the ones, this is where it was sticking out. There must be a little bit of a hole. The ground's wet underneath it, so there must be a little hole in the plastic pinhole or something that I've missed because yeah the level did drop a bit and uh, yeah exposed the top just here and up here so yeah that's why we got a yeah a bit more rust sort of reappearing up there but anyway as I said it's only light it'll scrub off pretty quick so yeah anyway I'll uh I'll prime them and I'll paint them and uh, I'll probably show you when they're finished, probably on the engine or in some other video anyway, but yeah, just wanted to make a video just to show the importance of getting them dried off as quickly as you can and you know, how fast they're going to flash rust once you pull them out of the acid. Like, you know, when I first pulled them out of the acid and press wash them, they were spotless. Like, oh, apart from this bit up here, this bit up here where it was exposed in, but the rest of what you can see was all nice clean metal. So, yeah, but that's sort of, as I said, what to expect. And uh, yeah, because there's no, yes, it takes off any protection that may have been left on there. Like there probably wasn't much, but any paint or zinc or anything else that was on the pipe alloy whatever that was on the pipe protect them is long gone now. The acid's eaten it away completely. And uh, as I said, that's why, yeah, you get immediate rusting. So, but as I said, yeah, that'll scrub off, yeah, quite easily. So, won't be a drama. And, uh, yeah, I'll paint it up. All right, thanks for watching. Bye.